Okay, today we're going to look at determining the electronic configuration of an atom. Alright, first we need to understand the electronic configuration um, this describes the arrangement of atoms or arrangement of electrons in an atom. This arrangement of the electrons accounts for a large amount of the behavior of that particular atom or the molecule itself. Here we have a picture of the periodic table. What's important for us to understand here is that the periodic table is organized according to its subshell. So in groups 1 and 2, for example, we have our s orbitals. In groups um, 3 to 8, we have p orbitals. In our transition metals, we find our d orbitals. In our inner transition metal, we will find our F. This is important for you to know and important for you to recognize because when it comes to doing or writing the electronic configuration of atom, this is something that you really need to be sure of. Which, what's a P orbital? Where? What elements have P orbitals? What elements have S? What else have D and F? So, with that said, the way that I teach this is um, I use, and I say, count the boxes. So within counting the boxes, we start from here. This is box one. This is box two. This is box three, four, so forth and so on. So in this particular instance, we want to go with carbon. Let's see if I can change the color of this pen. We want our atom, we want to go with the carbon atom here. And within going with the carbon atom, we're going to count the boxes. So we're starting off on level one. Carbon would be equal to, we're on level one. So it's, these periods represent the level that we're on. and we're level one, we're growing across to the 1s orbital and the 2s orbital. Or our 1s orbital, which is 1 and 2, which means I have 1s2. So this is 1s2. The 1 comes from the period that I'm in. The s is because I'm in the s block. And the two is because I have two electrons um, at that level. I counted two boxes. One, two. I go to the next level. It's two. I'm at level two. I have to go across the S blocks. So I write my S. And I count two boxes. One, two. So I write 2s2. Now I'm going to go across. I'm still on level 2, but this time now I've entered into my p block elements. So these are my p block elements. So I write p and I count the number of boxes it takes me to get to carbon, which is 1, 2. So the electronic configuration for carbon would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. Note the number of electrons, 2, 4, 6, equals the atomic number of carbon, which is 6. So this is how you would count the boxes to determine the electronic configuration of a particular atom. Let's look at sodium. I start at the top. I have 1, so I'm in group 1. I have, um, I'm in the S orbitals, this is S, this is 1 and 2, I count two boxes, I go to period 2, I have 2S, I'm in the S orbitals, I 
count my two boxes one two so I put a two here I go across I'm still in two so I write my two I count the number of boxes is one two three four five six so I say two p six I go to my third box on my third level, that's level three. I'm in my S block. I say S and I count the number of boxes to get to sodium, which is one. So the electronic configuration for sodium would be 1S2, 2S2, uh, this is 2P6, which I didn't write my 2P6, 3S1. All right. So, um, 